I got myself a little project here today. I don't know if this is going to turn into something or not, but I decided I want to build myself. I decided I want to build myself a belt sander grinder. So I spent the hundred and some odd dollars and ordered a kit of wheels. Two uh, small idlers, an alignment wheel, and a five-inch um, drive wheel with three-quarter-inch shaft. And the idea that I have, being as poor as I am always, is I have this old 40, 48-inch lathe that I really don't use. <clears throat> Supposedly it's got a half horse motor in there. I've already got step pulleys. According to the manual, this is a three uh, quarter inch drive, so I'm not sure if that's a three quarter inch shaft in there or not. I hope it is. I can just mount my drive on there. So I'm hoping that I can use that for my drive. Cannibalize as much as I can. There's some channel here and I bought some small channels, so I'm not going with the typical two inch two and a quarter inch setup. Um, I'm actually not even sure what I can make out of what I got here, but this is all I got to work with. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I even have a good supply of belts already, so I'm being pretty optimistic here. But um, I'm either gonna do a, um, a vertical or something more vertical than the typical uh, knife grinder that I see online like a Grizzly, like the Grizzly style I think I can do that with with less materials than uh, what I've seen or I'll try to do one of the horizontal ones but anyway this is what I'm starting with I, I hope I can piece it all together enough to work if I do I'll continue the video uh, you're about to witness something that's extremely rare Matter of fact, it might be the first time in history, we'll see. But anyway, I took the lathe apart and I had this axle drive shaft in here with a couple of pillow blocks. Looking at the drive shaft, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different dimensions, nine different diameters. Of course, the only diameter that worked was the thread from the um, headstock of the of the lathe. And I sat here for about half an hour trying to figure out how I can reuse pillow blocks, flip the axle around, whatever I need to fit that three-quarter inch shaft on this drive pulley. And I couldn't for the life of me figure it out. So I got popped in the car and I was on my way to the hardware store. I figured I'd buy a three inch shaft and some pillow blocks and try to figure out how to mount it inside the same housing so I can use the same pulleys and belts and all that. Halfway there I was thinking, I wonder what those threads are on that shaft. And I was wondering if the three quarter inch all thread that I already had matched the threads. And when I got all done, all I needed to do was buy this little union. It fit the threads on the headstock and of course it fits the threads in the um, three-quarter inch all thread which fits perfectly into my pulley. That kind of luck never happens to me. Kind of luck never happens to me. So I'm a little tickled pink right now. So anyways we're gonna move forward on the build. Alright for a half-assed makeshift Scenario that's not turning out quite so bad. We got the drive pulley on there, one half a horse motor, a little bit of vibration, but hopefully I can counter counteract that with some weight. That's at the second to fast the speed. The fastest speed's a little bit worse. I have no idea how fast that's going at the moment, but it looks pretty damn fast to me. This is uh, it's looking good. Well, don't be looking too close at the welds, but I welded frame around the bottom now, so I got something to work with. And uh, just that frame added quite a bit of stability to it. 
vibrating a little. But uh, we'll, we'll get rid of that with some weight, I think. We're well on our way. All right, through some miracle, so far I've not used any steel that wasn't part of that original lathe. So, I mean, I'm getting very close to where I want to be without actually using any other steel. I still have that piece left over, which could be my upright for my idler arm, actually. And it might just be when I get done. We're going to find out here. But um, I got that in there. And it just so happens that that channel that was part of the lathe fits this inch and a quarter pretty damn well. It's looking like something. Alright, so the rain's going to shut me down today. But I don't think that's bad for four hours work. I got my drive pulley. I got my idler. It's not, it's not tightened down, but it, it's good. It's in good shape. I got um, my adjustment for alignment right there. I mean, I'm going to put a T on here and make it a little easier to use. Um, this arm's a little too long. This represents my platen, but we didn't get that far yet. But, get this belt on. I certainly can't fire it up for you. I can go ahead and give you a representation of what it's going to be. So that's not bad at all for four hours work and I'm pretty damn close I got some hardware to do and then the plating to make very very cool I'm thinking very cool so I'm proud of that so far I hope it works when we get done there it is four hours <laughs> 